some of the garden stuff we got going on and uh, show you an update on certain vegetable gardens. These are the beets we, we planted that are hopefully gonna get quite large. They're getting pretty big already. As you can see, they're not onto the ground much, but decent size. They probably got two to three months of growing still. They're frost hardy, so. And then we got some random stuff growing in here. Tomatoes. These came up when we just staked them. Actually popping out some big tomatoes. You don't have to be too particular with, sometimes you get too particular and you, you're afraid to plant anything. Just plant it and hope for the best and maintain it as good as you can. This is our less maintained garden. We'll get some corn, but the deer were coming in here eating the tops off of them, so. This isn't, this isn't my full-time gig, so I don't have time to keep everything perfectly tidy, but we got pigs, so when stuff goes to waste or, you know, it doesn't work out perfect, we can feed it to the pigs. There's some nice corn growing on there, though. <laughs> this is lamb's quarter, and the, the cattle and the sheep and the animals in the barn all like this a lot. They'll eat all of it, but they specifically, especially the sheep, like this stuff. They got squashes. Squash, zucchini, pumpkins. Big squash here. Stuff's ready. We fill how many of those buckets a day? for the animals in the barn. Usually two full buckets of squashes and pickles for the, for the pigs. And this is a whole row of potatoes right here. Right here. Potatoes are doing pretty good. If we held them a little bit, again, we lost time to maintain, but you can see them in here. Okay. They're already coming. Taters. They're fun to harvest. A little gold. And when we weed the stuff, we feed all that stuff to the cows. I think this is called hog weed. It grows pretty intensely. But uh, the animals inside eat it, so when we weed, it makes weeding feel a little better when you can feed the animals with it. Yeah. Squash plants are actually quite fragile when you're harvesting and messing around them. You don't want to be stepping on them or you can step on them and kill them. They'll just do come back. They're all wilted and quite weak. So the animals that we don't have on pasture, we make sure they get a lot of weeds and grass. They eat, our cattle eat just hay and then grass. Well, grass is hay, but dried hay and then whatever weeds we pick. We probably put a couple big buckets full a day in there. 
guy's getting a little nicer. <laughs> His buddy went to butcher, so maybe he'll be our friend now. <laughs> this is another overgrown garden. Uh, most importantly, when you put gardens and you want to keep up on it, good when they're small, otherwise they won't produce anything. This got out of control, but at least we kept up on it till the plants got mature. So we'll get produce from it. We got more giant beets mixed in here, a little smaller, but they'll still grow. This area of the garden does good for a long time because it's the total south. So it heats up good against the building and all that. We got pumpkins in here. That pumpkin's not ripe there, but... Is that a watermelon? Uh, these are pumpkins. Uh -huh. The Ecuador people bought one of those not ripe ones. Because they said it's good in the soup. Oh, there's a big pumpkin over here. That one's good. There's one over there, too. Same thing, like if you were to walk through that, you could kill them the plants. You don't want to step on Yeah, I see some butternut squash back there. And this is all lamb squash. There's some butternut. Squash. 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 Yellow squash. What is it? If you got a couple acres and you can get pegs, it's worth having because if you cook a lot or you do a decent sized garden, there's no waste then. Everything goes to making your pigs delicious. It's watching and waiting for Jake to bring him some more. This is the lamb for you now. I don't know if you can tell, but see how much more he's anxious for it. How he likes me touch him or he wouldn't. He really likes it. <laughs> so there must be a lot of protein in this stuff. thing we try to keep on our farm is all the pens very dry and uh, deep bedding. End up using more hay but the animals grow better and the compost is better and they're just healthier because it's dry. So whenever we see moisture or poop we throw, throw a little hay on it. Once it gets compost and then the flies and all that stuff can't take a foothold. Here's an update on the cold frame. These beets are still doing good. Got some new beets coming in. That's where the lettuce was that I ripped out and have that ready for the next time we feed this. And then we've got carrots and some beets over there. Here's an update on the garlic that we have drying. It's looking really good. Get some 
bunnies here. Alright, this is the squash garden here. We got some squash, pumpkins, sunflowers, some tomatoes in the back. Yeah. This one we kept up on pretty good weeding. We got some uh, uh, potatoes over there. Also, which are probably doing good. We almost had these all die the other day when we forgot to water for a couple days and it got very hot. And the entire garden was wilted like that. Like some of those over there. So those ones have the beating. Another interesting thing about weed is weeds are uh, just a plant you don't want in an area. So, you know, anything can really be a weed. If you got corn where tomatoes are and you only want tomatoes, then corn's a weed. So every plant has a name and a purpose, but we call them weeds when they're in areas we don't want them. Nice. But for us, all our weeds are pig food. Sunflowers are doing good. We didn't plant any of those. They just came up from last year. I think we showed in some of the other videos with the garlic. They came up in between the garlic and I let them grow. And they didn't seem to harm the garlic's growth because the garlic was way ahead of these. Mm -hmm. So then when we pulled the garlic out, these took over the beds and once those die, we'll probably replenish the garden with the compost and then plant something else. Yep. Our comp we got some compost piles over here with all sorts of stuff in them. That's the gold. So it keeps everything growing. Yep, and there's a squash plant over there too. Squash plant. And we got the garden beds over here. some interesting looking tomatoes so they're like black and then the bottom's green but they're not when the bottom turns when red the bottom turns red then they're ripe yeah a couple of different kinds mixed in there we got a lot of tomatoes cherry tomatoes which i always wish i didn't plant <laughs> the kids love them they're yeah, always the over here eating birds. It fell over. <laughs> no, it grew more, and, it fell over. and now it's falling over. But I could re-tie it up. So it's August already, and we're it's August 9th, and we're harvesting plenty of tomatoes, peppers, uh, green bell peppers, bell peppers, cherry peppers, jalapenos. So we'll the harvest for a good, a good two months from this, depending on when our frost comes. These are doing good. And those are all the bigger tomatoes over here and on the back. Jalapenos in here. Which they do turn red, but you can pick them earlier. Cayenne peppers over here for making spices. Oh, yep. And the green bell peppers keep pumping them out. Oh yeah, they're, they're pumping them out like crazy. They're delicious. And the price of those have really gone up at the store this year. Yeah. Should I say really tomorrow? nice sized bell peppers. Tomorrow, right? Next year I'm gonna plant the red, yellow, orange, along with the green. Oops. Habaneros. Kinda... You don't need too many habaneros. No. Pepper plants are very fragile. They can snap easy. Like, I gotta stake these more because the wank can blow them and just snap them at the bottom. They don't self support by their stock. They're quite fragile. Once they snap, whatever part snaps is dead. So. It's hair. It's bunny cages right here today. But this is where our tomatoes all are. These are canning tomatoes. 
Yeah, there's a bunch in there. Some nice size uh, canning ones though. Yeah. That's all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll do an update in a week or so.